All right, guys. While I was out digging for the truth, here's a few things that I found out. There's a potential civil war brewing, but the thing is, it's uncomfortable to talk about. While some of them are bearing the truth, let's talk about the truth. Why there might be a possible civil war after 2024 elections. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna finish digging for the truth. Shifters, welcome back to another video. This video is really about to get you to think and to really get you a new perspective and hopefully it can get you to a point where you can make a good decision and how to prepare for what might might come. Just prediction based on facts and reports and things that I am seeing and also what you might be seeing out there too also. But the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about why we might, you know, potentially go into a civil war after the election and um, after 2024 and looking into 2025 is the first thing I want to talk about is that we're looking at political uh, polarization on both sides, both sides of the party. I'll, I'm not going to tell you which side I favor. I, I don't because I am an independent. I look at the facts, I hear the opinions and I make these decisions. So with that being said, with uh, politicians talking um, to you guys and to me and making statements and giving their ideology and their perspective and where politics is going right now, it's a dangerous place and we are in uncharted territory. But the biggest thing that I want to point out is that when we have um, big red flags like Mr. President or ex-President Trump who was a president and who is seeking for a second term um, had two um, really, 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 really poor execution of protection by the Secret Service of a, a attempt sa assassination. That could be pushing, um, pushing it basically. Um, and we're looking at uh, debates and we're looking at different ads that's being shown to us and to really to make a decision. But the thing is, is that we have to understand why these things are taking place and why are we being um, given these options. And a lot of us might say, well, we have one good option. Some people say, well, both of them, both candidates that's running right now are terrible and some are, are very uh, extreme to who they support but regardless think about this what is best for your family and how can you prepare for the after effect of whomever that might you know take office the key is make sure politicians are not swaying you that is going against you and your family morals and value. So with that being said, let's talk about another point. Come on. Let's talk about election dispute. Now, that is something that occurred in 2020, right? And we saw how it played out and what took place, a lot of trials and a lot of uh, miscalculation errors that, that people didn't think about. And that could play a big role in regard to causing a civil war because think about it, if there are disputing about who is in power and who's going to be that public figure to represent the United States which is being the president because uh, we know the three branches that help support and not allowing one um, in power to have too much power and we know the constitution you know is well laid out uh, for us to be able to follow and to do well to keep the, the nation as it is. But the thing is that when you have dispute with election frauds and that can cause social unrest. And social unrest can cause a lot of mixed feeling that can cause people to think one way and create ideology and create factions and create different groups. And that could be something that can further divide the nation and because of that, we already have a added pressure already and the cost of living in 
and not only living, the food in general is one of the biggest pressure added to the citizen. And, it, and you're looking at the, ec the economic uh, state that we are in right now, that can add pressure to the people and for us to create a huge division among ourselves. And nevertheless, not mentioning outside a uh, potential enemy that's, that want to see that and potentially um, create that. Because you think about it, what's the best way to, to beat a superpower uh, nation and group? It's to beat it from within, right? The greatest story ever told, the Trojan horse. Because we looking at potential Trojan horse and there are threat indicators that can definitely cause civil war. And, and while we are preparing, as you can see, getting things together and making sure our family is protected, we have to look at those those things and really think about it. How can you prepare for it? It's tough, because you gotta pick a side, one way or another. But the truth is the truth. Let's continue to dig for it, all right? So, here's three other points that I want to point out. Um, let's talk about regional differences. Now, we're talking about state to states and how people are viewing themselves in those states. And I am a person who is in the state of Florida, and I see how it is here. We are great with the 2A and a lot of other things that I want to talk about because it can go left real quick. But the thing that I'm going to point out is that we have states like Florida, Texas, California, New York, Georgia, and some other states that they have different views. And you can see how they are operated. You can see how their congressmen or congresswomen uh, feel and how they speak. So those differences, if not tame, or mediated correctly can easily bring about civil war because when you have long store states like Texas who are strong on their foundational values and principle and if you're willing to violate the Constitution and not stand on it you can have a problem on your hand and you have support state like Florida that has huge on making sure that we follow the Constitution and do well. Some might voice their opinion and say you know, otherwise, but when you have regional differences and that can cause regional conflicts and also lead to potential civil war. And that is just one aspect of it. Let's talk about another point. Misinformation. We get that a lot. Whether it's through social media, like here, what you're experiencing and listening to me, I'm not here to mislead you, but to provide you the facts and hopefully you can make a, a good, sound decision for yourself. But nevertheless, we experience misinformation in different ways through our social media platforms and through our news outlet and even amongst our family and friends. And a lot of us are feeling, they are, you know, feeling, feelings is incorporated in the information being provided and also causing issues among you know between oh, among us and, and really not allowing us to really face the facts and make sound decisions and if you're not someone who's really 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 filtering out the opinions the you know from the fact um, you're someone that's going to be misled and misinformed and it's your responsibility anyway I'm not here to tell you how you feel and how to think but hoping that you make the right decision. So misinformation is one of the things that can cause civil war because it's leading the people astray. And if you have the blind lead the blind, you know, what, you know the rest of the same. We're all gonna fall into a ditch. So I hope you're not someone who's blindly following and I hope you are that black sheep that, that's going the opposite direction from the rest of the sheep out there. Escape the matrix because 
misinformation is all out there, especially with AI now. Videos are being rendered on different software through AI, and photos to also could easily, easily mislead anybody who don't know how to really look at the difference between if it's real or if it's fake. And if we're looking at programs that create what we call deep fake. That misinformation can cause big issues. This is not your traditional back, you know, back then when things were easy to, to identify, but now you're looking at issues that could cause civil war, and that is misinformation. And I got one more for you before we move on, is that um, government overreach or overpower. Uh, the Constitution limit the government involvement in everyday citizen life. And the moment the government start to overreach, which they have already started in different areas, some might disagree with me, but when you have a government that is too powerful, the people suffer. And you may not see it, but you have to understand and understand and overstand that that is fuel to the fire because the moment the government start to pressure people and apply pressure in different areas and they're overreaching um, overreaching and your constitutional rights and your not given rights you are someone who's going to break especially if pushed to the edge and those are the things that I believe that can cause um, you know, issues that can lead to potential civil war. Alright, so let's move on. And before we move on, remember the path to destruction was paved with good intention. Just remember that. So let's let's, let's talk some more. Let's, let's on. All right, I don't want this video to be too long. So let, let's 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 end this video by covering three more points. The first one I want to talk to you about right above me. I hope I'm not saying too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, going over. Now I want you to get your 10 4 hat and put it on because I'm about to put my eyes on right now. Listen, there is a lot of reason why we can that predict a civil war one of them is having outside influences yeah I said it we have you know countries that may pay, play a role into all this now it's not too far-fetched to think about it that it could happen because look at the social media platforms that we do have there is information in there that can, you know changing people mind and making people think differently and not only that here America, we do it ourselves. We we go to other countries and sway elections and put certain people in power. And if you do your research, you know what I'm talking about. It's not conspiracy; it's reality. Um, but the thing is, is that outside influences could play a big part. And if you look at it, America is a strong country, and not many countries are willing to, you know, go to war with us because of what we have and what we're able to do. But nevertheless, small children horse like social social um, impact or cyber cyber um, attacks could definitely cause pressure for us to fight among us ourselves because we may look at wealth distribution and how we are being treated as citizens can easily turn certain people. I'm not talking about your hardcore patriots but those who easily weak at mind in regard to you know represent who you are and also standing on moral ground so civil war can easily easily you know sway or influence by outside ice outside and that's just the fact because if we can do it to others they can do it to us I'm just saying. The other thing that I want to talk about is militia groups. Militia groups are 
something that most people don't talk about, but they exist and they are real. And the thing is, is that we might come to a point where the government might go after them because if you think about it, a real regulated militia is a militia that stand on the constitution and its value and its and, and have morals in regard to protecting the citizen and not allowing the government to be overpowered nor to have any overreach. And those who knows know what I am going into in regard to that. If you don't do your research, because a, a, a good militia or any militia in different states they are there for a reason and the moment that the government start to want to go after them that can cause potential civil war and and I don't really don't have to say too much about it because we can see how that could play out arm train and almost close to military status uh, you know man really just not LARPing not playing around and pretending but actually doing this for real for real on a different level and as close to the military you know soldier I believe we have the capability to really not only maintain and keep a, 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 a militia but at the end of the day not mess with it because it's there for a reason and the moment that we mess with it there you go another point to why it can cause a civil war and last point that I want to cover is resources and this is what this channel is about is that the moment that we don't have enough resources to either to, 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 to live or to prep because us preppers we have to have certain resources to keep or rotating or to add or to even to use to maintain our lifestyle the moment that is into that is disrupted by government or outside or even our, our own doing that can cause civil war because the moment you take away resources from a group of people and the lack of it can cause pressure don't forget, it doesn't matter how nice someone is, or how honest someone is, or they have great moral and integrity, but things that you get back into the right wall, your back is against the wall or the corner, a lot of people will flip. And it's just the psychology of someone who's just need to survive. And as survivors like you and I, that's why we do what we do. Continue to prep. Continue to put away food. Continue to grow your garden. Continue to add to your prep. And continue to learn and continue to expand your mind about topics like this and, and to help you to understand different threat indicators and, and how to be prepared for it. And I hope this video really sparked an idea to really think about these different perspective not just buying gears and practicing and just doing these wonderful things to prepare but understanding the psychological part of it and looking at the different um, threat indicators and be prepared for 